uh, edges in the coverage really, really important for us. Uh, the things that, that we really harp on to our guys is like setting the edge is crucial and everyone coaches that in their own way. Uh, but it's the, the losing of the edge that it kind of makes the biggest difference in special teams because that's where a lot of the, the biggest plays come about uh, is, is when that guy gets in a situation where he thinks, oh, crap, this ball is coming at me and I think it's going to get outside me. What is he going to do? And uh, we found it's been really helpful to let guys understand that that's not the end of the world. Uh, you're going to make that thing bubble. Whatever you do, don't panic. Because if you panic, you're going to jump out and the ball is going to run right to where you were standing. So make that thing bubble, track that near hip, make it stretch out. And now the rest of the, the pack is going to be uh, pursuing and, uh, and getting there. Uh, in terms of setting the edge, we talk about the same stuff everyone else. We want a power foot in the ground. You want extension outside arm and leg free, eyes in your gap, uh, having great discipline with that kind of stuff. Um, I'll show these relevant clips to the edge and then, and then we'll be out of here. Uh, number eight right here, doing a great job. Uh, we want to squeeze. If we can do a great job squeezing and playing with as tight of edges as, uh, as possible, then everyone else is going to have to defend a lot less space inside. Uh, he does a nice job right here. Power foot in the ground, violent strike, outside arm and leg free, discipline, eyes in his gap. Now he's allowed us to play in a very manageable amount of space inside. This is from the same game. Uh, nice job squeezing, not over squeezing it, not getting a little too ambitious. Power foot in the ground, strike, he's in control. Outside arm and leg free, identifies where the ball's at. He's not gonna panic. It's okay to lose the edge as long as you make that thing uh, run sideways or make it bubble, make him run out of grass from the boundary. Here's one to the field right here, uh, number 33. Love a little more squeeze, but sets the edge, eyes in his gap, outside arm, leg free. Don't panic and jump out. Let that thing come to you and go make the play. Same guy right here. This is a great example of how to lose the edge. All right, he's engaged with this block, understanding he's the edge of the defense, but he's doing a, a great job just knowing that it's about, it's about containing the ball not about containing the block. So don't go and defend out here, killing the grass by yourself. It's about containing this guy. This guy is just, he's irrelevant to you. As that ball comes to him, he's not gonna panic and jump out. He knows, great, if this guy's gonna go there, I'm gonna make him bubble. I'm gonna make him run sideways, stretch this thing out, let everyone else take phenomenal angles and be able to show up. 